I mean, it's it's a it's a really interesting thing. You know, for for me personally, the reason I became a documentary filmmaker is because I, you know, there's a there's a part of me that obviously is a, a real activist and and is all about making change and social justice. And there's another part of me that's a that's a storyteller, you know, and that is is a creative a creative being. And so the amalgamation of the two is always kind of driven. It's always been such a such a drive. So you know, for, for to, to be here and, and to have a to have a film that's kind of resonating on the level of uh, you know just as a as a film itself, and then also just knowing that this film can have such a profound impact. Uh, it's wonderful. Okay, one more time right here. It took us 10 years to finance this film because we wanted to shoot it in Spanish, which always we felt that was the right way. Uh, and this is a story that is Uruguayan, but it's told by Uruguayan, Spanish people, Chilean people, and Argentinian people. And we want to tell our stories in our language. And I think what is great about the phenomenal success of the film is that you, you can uh, demonstrate that there is a, an, an, an audience for that, a huge audience that wants to be movies with his, in, in, in the original language with subtitles. And then right next to you, right It's the market. I mean, there's, there's a limit around like $10 million for a project in Spanish. I think we need to convince the people to go to the cinemas, not the art house cinemas, but the big cinemas to watch movies from all over the world uh, in different languages. Uh, you can tell by watching the movies that are nominated this year for Best International Film, all of them are fantastic, are among the best films of the year. And I'm sure that if people watch all those films, they will see how good they are. And we need to convince, we need to persuade the audience to go and see these movies because they're going to love it.